Zimbabwe is beginning to experience the effects of climate change. The last 30 years have shown a trend towards reduced rainfall, excess rainfall in some instances, and frequent droughts. The frequency and length of dry spells during the rainy season have increased, while the frequency of rainy days has declined. The increasing occurrence and intensity of droughts are causing food shortages and worsening the vulnerability of communities. Such a scenario has negative impacts on Zimbabwe's economy, which is primarily agro-based. All the scientists all over the globe they have already agreed that climate is changing. And this is demonstrated by what we are observing in terms of uh, the changes in the behavior of uh, the rainfall patterns, uh, the extreme weather events like droughts, floods that we are experiencing, the late uh, onset of the rains, the late termination of the rains, and in some cases the early termination of the rains that the communities are feeling right now. And uh, we can see that rivers that used to be uh, flowing throughout the whole year no longer flow, maybe they flow just for a week or so. So meaning to say that there is something that is happening, which is the change that we talk about. And the impacts of climate change include food insecurity, uh, and um, depleted water resources, and among others. Over 70% of the population living in rural areas are dependent on agriculture. Climate change has now become one of the greatest threats to livelihoods of people who live in marginal areas and has the potential to undermine many of the positive developments made by the government over the years in trying to meet its development goals. In response to the effects of climate change, the Ministry of Environment, Water and Climate developed a climate change response strategy through a consultative process involving government ministries, civic society, academic institutions, non-governmental organizations, NGOs, and the private sector. What we are doing as government is to ensure that we have strategies in place uh, that will guide implementation of climate change activities to ensure that uh, communities adapt to the impacts of climate change. Currently, uh, the government has just concluded uh, development of a national climate change response strategy. In this strategy, uh, has some action plans, what can be done in the agriculture sector to really cushion ourselves from that uh, change in terms of climate. Following a coping with drought and climate change pilot project implemented in Chirezi district through the Environmental Management Agency, EMA, a scaling up climate change adaptation project is currently being implemented in Chirezi district, Mashibo province, Chimanimani and Buhera districts in Manikaland province. This project is supported by the Global Environment Facility, JEF, and the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. The objective of the project is to improve the adaptive capacities of vulnerable communities. In the face of climate change, the environment provides the safety net for livelihood sustenance. This results in land degradation or over-exploitation of the natural resources. The country's poverty assessment conducted in 1995 revealed that 46% of the rural population in districts like Chirezi, Buhera and Chimanimani were classified as either poor or very poor. These districts lie in Region 5 where rainfall is not reliable. In this region, rainfall is too low, generally below 450 mm per season, and erratic for meaningful production of any crop under rain-fed conditions. We caught up with communities attending livelihoods assessment workshops in these areas. Here is what they had to say. <laughs> Agawiane 
Ramoedu yati shati special this year gorini nzara mvura yakanaya kuanza chaiku yana yazviya mune ivhu rakati rakatetepa ine majecha zvakanyura zvanyura zviya mvura yakaenda zvachese saka hatina gohoba munhu rakabwana tine nzara chaizvo Atina zimwe zvitino mbopona ndizo. Eh chimwe chetino tengesa ingombe livestock nembuzi ndo zvedu zvino. Izvo zvi semakorano kwane zvinyi ndo zvinyi hazvina hazvina mutengo. Unona bagdiresenete 3 dollars. Renyi wanonge nyi 3 dollars yacho haina cheno tenga. Mazona mauyu Unokira na ukende harare, pano dika ni transport, apana tiri munamu isu. Yaka na kuna January, ika na chaiso, zia zokuti imbesa zataka jara, ndo zaka mera ne do pero ra, na kuzoezera foot upai pap. Expect a kutumia January, macho end of January, kana kuti mid January, icha na ya yaka wanda sa, na kuna yaka na yaka ngaka na ya pakat pa January. Pano anga dee waka ipisa because wano waka nga kari machaji indika tarza minda yese right round the world ya kacha ina echa kaiva. Shichiro wakuti mwaka uno nenge waka nyanya kupisa chaizu up to now. Telefandra tichi iwa tiri mchando asi tiri kungo chana nasi. Mapisi rawa chwa nwete asa kuti kuchanaya asa hakunaya. Eee wano hiko jino wa kura ramanenya ayo kuti wamo wano diri ziram garden. Wamo wano wano tengesa mbuzi wamo wano tengesa wano mwombe wane mwombe. Mwajitengesa o makuwa ine nguru. Mura muno mudu nuredu. Yae wanza kutianga kuna ya mnana oktober makarikari. Aziko zino mvura ya kuna ya mnana january. Ichipera zakari mna january macho ya momo. Mwaka unu tariza kutu waka chinja. Nukuti iko zino tingade iko zino tati mwezi waka pera uyu machi. Ingade mvura yu kupetisira ya kanaya. Asa esu kunaya. E, tika tarisa izo mbesa kuhiva kwa zomu munda futi. Zinenge za swede rambe richa iko pane kuti patia isiko wa muna disembu. Iko zino wa mta kuko wa muna na mei juni. Mm -hmm. e, saka ando ziratizo zino tarisa uti kunze kunenge kwa chinja. Muna na april sa izo zi. Kwa itarisi wa kutitingade iko zino toto fuka machira, mabachi, chiti kuno tonora. Aziko zino kuri kupisa zo kuti Kungaita sukuti izwarana Oktober ratino expecta heavy rains. Saka ndo zuratizo zunotu tariza uti mwaka hodi unenge wa chinja. Uye zue vegetation yedu mkati arisa kunze mashisha hakuto dona. Zuchirewa izwa kuti ice dona amnana August, September. Iko zuna hakudona kutariza kuti kwa pisa mwaka hodi kunze kunenge kwa chinja. Climate change inenge ya wapo zuchukwa. Mbura kuna ya payaka ita ya kati nono kei. Payaka zonaya, ya kabaya naya ya kawanda chaizo. Tumekwa kuzunu kwa kutonyura pasi. Saka yo inda jiva ya inda shachose. Saka payaka zoya ya zinezi, zimeza zote ora, asiwo. Zaka ita se zinana nyimo, zino shinga zula, ndo zanogo na kutivano, wanga wana, asia munga yedu ishoma ni mafunde mashoma ni kuti mvura ya katirasisa kudakushanu kapuwe mwaka ere kunota orwa ee mjimbo ino ye nyanyazi mjimbo ya kawo masha ezo ni kuti kuna kwa chupe mvura kwa siyana ni mana wera mbo yetu kwa karikacho ikawo mao makore saa mvura kusa tikuwa ni climate change Taizi hoti mkrismas tuto zopi na mkrismas taa kujema gaka. Meno mwana wazi wama gaka. Taizi hoti mkrismas taa kujama gaka. 
the According to experts, conservation agriculture is an adaptive and mitigation option as it encourages efficient utilization of resources, including land, inputs and labor. If adhered to, more yields could be realized per unit area. Mr. Tendai Mugani is the District Agricultural Extension Officer for Chimani Mani District. Right. <laughs> Biologically, a plant is affected by the water. You know, staff are going to go to the water. You can see the water. You can the water. You can the 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 grain is 
Number you feed the cook, so we don't go down to Rama, Mashisha. Same as you are, but just the ending in a kind of Munga is the same, Mongoza is the same. So even those are the crops to know that you know, you know, singing Rakus come, but one of my funda are no gonna go to a funda and Munga or can quite a drought street. They stop Ningi transpiration. Kufara man, give my pose. Musuno na mvura uchitanga wata the whole thing. Alright. Yeah. The doors don't man. The doors don't advantage man. The boss. Apana me chigir, me chigir. Do you know what? One, I have to feed the apika or minister. Every plan you do, I need. Alright. So musuno me is thinking she feeds the apika or minister. We couldn't check it here. Alright. As if we're very far side, do stuff. Alright. So that's what you know. That is the biological one. The explanation is those two. Apana me chigir. In the umbe we take our own route. Inga in the umbe we are not passive. We are active. We are not going to take our own route. I know umbe we are not active. We are going to go to umbe. We are not going to take our own route. We are not going to take our own route. We are not going to take our own route. Umbe we are not going to. Whilst many farmers harvested nothing in the 2014 to 2015 farming season, Mr. Nika Satia in the Tia Village, Chimani Mani District. Beat all odds in the most difficult drought year. He said the only magic he needed was to practice organic farming and he put mechanical conservation works in his field to conserve moisture. <laughs> Ano kanu wa ne mombe mombe iti. Ndozo chera nde chise mumunda ndo kono kusisa kana tu forte skoshkat. Nde chuya nde chisa muno. Nde chipindura ne mombe kairi katatu. Then ndozo sime chikafucha. Chova chabuda so simpu so muri kuona. Eh kunyoro unoita kuti kugare huni muno kuo zere munda. Kubaya kana kuti winda plow. Ndiyo inoita nokunga kudzikse badzarako. Was what was seen by Badrakoronga was what he created or be Jana, those who later put the Unoro who got a hurry pass. Eh, on to us, Maroj, Uronga, good in Fry Sire and Munda Mese, Inga Yaka, Yaka, Yachiti, Yosuko, Muyo, and the Court Teramina, the Matombo, Yoso Vapos, Inga, so Buddha, Yasef, Iscatori, Frank, those who take it on your own. Eh. Agronomists advise farmers to grow short season varieties of small grains in drought prone areas. Zimbabwe is generally a semi arid country with low annual rain for reliability. The average annual rainfall is 650 millimeters, but geographically, it ranges from around 350 to 450 millimeters per year in the southern low veld to 1,000 millimeters per year in the eastern highlands. Climate change has the potential to undermine many of the positive developments made by the government over the years in trying to meet its development goals. Climate change adaptation and mitigation projects such as irrigation schemes, small grains, improved animal husbandry are some of the coping mechanisms to areas that are prone to droughts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, my irrigation scheme. Put uh -huh. my irrigation scheme says a mona, no quantity to Gumal party. But what were you on to pass? No good knowns, I would name Brian on the Maquifa, Madame Maripasa, to Bray to Richita, my irrigation scheme. Carabanaki call Madame Pachidin, Pachuaka, Madame. Because where would the means that the Dutch put the river in Gutua, Chinket and as a wando, says a gatas and a conservation agriculture here, to be some mouth, and a bit of Marigi. In the case where a drought has occurred, if communities were practicing 
sustainable land management practices such as conservation works or conservation farming. It means the yield is going to, to will not necessarily be very low, but at least communities can be able to survive. Secondly, we also have what we call ecosystems-based adaptation strategies. In the face of climate change, communities can actually be able to survive or depend on the environment that is immediately within them, the natural resource capital or the natural resource base. But however, this has to be done sustainably. Communities can live on our forest resources from the forest products. Communities can rely on our water bodies in terms of fisheries. Communities can also try and use, um, to try and have other alternative forms of life like crocodile farming, for instance, because crocodiles can do well regardless of um, high temperatures. So we need to diversify the forms of uh, the way in which communities get their source of living when a drought occurs. Climate change adaptation and mitigation projects such as irrigation schemes, small grains, improved animal husbandry are some of the coping mechanisms to areas that are prone to droughts. Sustainable land use practices in conjunction with catchment restorative and rehabilitation efforts offer long-term solutions in guaranteeing food security and ecosystem protection. This program is brought to you by the Environmental Management Agency, EMMA. Together with EMMA, we can create a clean, safe and healthy environment for all. You can contact us on phone line 0470-5661 or 62-04-305543 or toll free on 0808-0028. Email eep at emma.co.zw.